everybody, Tom Hudson here, Genghis, and I am super, super excited today because I'm going for my overall win, number one, and I'm in my dining room about to take on the Big Mac challenge. I have an unlimited amount of time to finish this delicious Big Mac, these large fries, and this bottle of Diet Coke. If I finish, I will buy myself a sweet t-shirt and I will put my name on the wall of fame. So let's get this challenge started. Okay. All right, so uh, I was going to do this with the McRib and have a McRib challenge, but uh, by the time I made that decision, they stopped doing the McRib promotion at McDonald's. So the Big Mac is one of uh, my favorite sandwiches to eat uh, at McDonald's. I love uh, their fries and they actually, when I was getting this, the gave a Coca-Cola bottle instead of putting it in a cup, I guess, so uh, because of COVID. Um, anyway, uh, again, I have an unlimited amount of time. Uh, the Big Mac, actually, a long time ago when I was a kid, they had the Big Mac um, ingredient song. And let me see if I remember it. It's two all beef patty special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, on a sesame seed bun. Here you go. Still remember that. Uh, anyway, so let's get this challenge started. Okay. One, two, three, boom. Okay. Oh boy. Now, um, I always put ketchup on uh, my Big Mac. Some people don't, but I love ketchup uh, in general. So here we go. Now, I don't know if the Big Mac got smaller. I, I don't know what one looked like, you know, 30 years ago or 10 years ago, but um, let's do, let's do, let's not do too, too much. Um, put some fries in here. There you go. All right, so put this back on. Um, again, I, I love the uh, sesame seed bun. The two patties, the pickles, the cheese. Let's go in and take a big bite here. Mmm. Well, oh, yeah. this is going to be a very easy challenge. Mmm. Mmm. Now, I don't put the ketchup all over the fries sometimes. I like to dip it. Excuse me, I shouldn't be talking with my mouth full, but... There we go. One of the reasons why uh, the fries are so delicious, this is, I, I read about this, is that they uh, add, add uh, the, the beef um, juice to it. So that's what makes it taste so good. It's not just not potatoes and salt. Um, let's get it in here. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm. One of my um, favorite movies is actually with uh, Michael Keaton. I shouldn't talk with my mouth full with Michael Keaton. It's called uh, The Founder, and he uh, plays the character. His character is uh, uh, Ray Kroc, and it's a great movie. It, you know, it's almost like a documentary, <laughs> and um, I, just, I just like that whole movie. He uh, basically, some people would say, he either stole McDonald's from the McDonald brothers, uh, but then again, you know, I think uh, they wanted, in the movie, they wanted to, you know, stay local, not expand. And his vision was to expand McDonald's nationwide, worldwide. And he just, you know, had that vision. Uh, but it's a really, really good film. Go check it out. My, one of my favorite Michael Keaton movies, uh, right up there with Beetlejuice and... Uh, uh, what was the other movie that he was in? Um, Birdman. That was also a good one. Oh yeah, don't forget Batman too. So, mm. no. Mm. 
We're doing pretty good on time here. We're three minutes and 35 seconds in. Personally, I'm, I'm sorry that they, you know, I feel sad that they don't have um, the cup because I always like going back for refills. I don't know if, um, I don't know if, uh, <clears throat> when they're gonna go back to having the cup when uh, they lift all of the, the restrictions and everything. Um, little little side note though, on the menu board, it said, I think the, uh, the meal was only, you know, 990 something, you know, but it actually came out to 11 something after tax, um, maybe because I upped it with the large fries. But then again, it was just the large fries and not a large, you know, Coke. It's just a regular Coke bottle, so I'm not sure why they, you know, charged me a little bit more than what it said on the menu. Okay, let's take another bite of this bad boy. Mm. I do, I do, um, I do like their McChicken sandwich. Um, yeah, I, I like that one also, but if the McRib comes back, there's actually a website dedicated to finding a McRib near you, like in your location, around your location. It's called the McRib Locator. And uh, so when I found out that my McDonald's near me had the McRib, I, I had one. Uh, and then I was thinking about doing the McRib challenge. Uh, but then I waited so long to do it, then, then the promotion didn't, you know, last that long. That's good. The bun is actually a little more crumbly than, than I remember. Hmm. Is that a word, crumbly? I don't know. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I made up a word. Mm. So, when I was a kid, you know, they had the <clears throat> McDonald's commercials, and they don't they don't do the characters anymore. I don't know why, but they had um, they had um, the Hamburger Hamburgerler, yeah, the Hamburgerler. They had Mayor McCheese, and they had McGrimmis as well as Ronald McDonald, the clown. So I, um, I didn't even know like what McGrimmis was. I knew Hamburglar, yeah, he uh, stole hamburgers. And um, you can imagine that poor guy getting arrested, you know, sitting there in jail and he's like, oh, what are you in for? Oh, uh, you know, armed robbery. What are you in for? Oh, I, uh, I stole a hamburger, you know. He, you know, he had um, the, the stripe, you know, the uh, prison suit on and the mask, which I thought was kind of odd. You kind of really didn't need the mask. The prison suit is a dead giveaway, you know, like it was either or kind of situation, I would say. Uh, hmm. How are we doing on time here? Hmm. Seven minutes in, doing really well. Doing really, really well here. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know what who, what McGrimmis was. He just looked like a big purple blob, but I don't know. I I'm, I wasn't going to uh, Google search his the the name and everything because I want to try to figure it out myself. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, Mayor McCheese. <clears throat> that was another character. He was, he was the mayor of some place. Mayor of McDonald's? Like wherever he went, was he the mayor of that town? Because they have a McDonald's is it in it or was he just a, a mayor, you know, at McDonald's? That, that, 
McDonald's. So. And the weird part about Mayor McCheese was that his head is made up of like, you know, a cheeseburger. So it's kind of a little disturbing in a, in a sense that you could basically eat his head. It's like, but when you're a kid, you don't think about these things. You only think about these things when you're an adult, you know. Mm. Or at least I do. Or at least I do. Mm. 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 This is a delicious food challenge. No. <clears throat> like they say, imitation is the sincerest form of flatter flattery. Can't even get that word out. Uh, <clears throat> the sincerest form of flattery. And uh, so one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels is Randy Santel's Food Challenge. And what I like to do is, and this is kind of weird, maybe, you know, is I like to exercise while watching uh, food challenges. There's uh, so many different uh, food uh, competitive eaters out there. Um, I think it's Beard versus Beard Meets Food. That's another one of my favorite uh, uh, YouTube uh, food challenge uh, series. Uh, and uh, I was actually started watching Randy Santel's food challenge, food challenges uh, when he was only like maybe 250,000 subscribers or something and then it just kept on growing and I was actually thinking about doing a real food challenge someplace local. There was a, and Randy Santel had done this also. Um, it, it's in New Jersey. It's a, it's a hot dog uh, restaurant. And they do uh, speci uh, speciality hot dogs, I believe. Is that the right word? Jesus. Um, and uh, so it's 12 hot dogs, gourmet hot dogs, sorry, gourmet hot dogs. And you have, I'm not sure how long, probably about 30 minutes to eat 12 hot dogs or something like that. But the, you're allowed to either choose 12 hot dogs from the right of the menu or 12 hot dogs from the left of the menu. You can't like mix and match. You just have to eat them all. Um, and uh, I think if I trained a little bit, like, uh, you know, they, they say you have to, prepare your stomach for, you know, eating all of that food, so. But I was thinking about, because it's in New Jersey, it's right across the bridge from me, so I was thinking about doing that. I wasn't gonna drive or fly anywhere to do a food challenge. But I love hot dogs also, so. I probably wouldn't get one that had like, you know, um, M&Ms on it or something like that. Hmm, let's see how we're doing. We are 12 minutes, we're actually 13 minutes in and um, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling really good about this. Um, I'm trying to think of what kind of t-shirt I would buy. Well, hmm. There we are. There we go. And uh, Randy Santel's uh, videos, in all of his videos, 
he always he collects uh, all of the t-shirts when he uh, finishes the challenge. Um, this meal actually, um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I bought this, so this was $11.35 or something like that. So I didn't get the meal for free. Um, but I have to think about what kind of t-shirt I'm gonna buy. I'll put my name on the wall, the wall of fame. That's gonna be in my studio. Can't do it in a dining area. The missus would get angry if I did that. Usually I, I, I drink uh, Coke Zero. Um, I don't know, I, I, like, I like the taste of it better than Diet Coke, it's like... <clears throat> so I was disappointed that they didn't have Coke Zero, that's what I'm saying, I'm, I'm uh, very disappointed. It's like little things could disappoint you. And uh, 25 minutes and 41 seconds in, and I finished the Big Mac challenge. I think the real challenge is actually uh, you watching me eat uh, the Big Mac challenge. So you should uh, actually get a uh, sweet t-shirt out of this. But uh, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Um, please like, subscribe. I'll be posting some more videos. Uh, hopefully some uh, stand-up videos in the future and um, thanks a lot for watching so uh, thank you bye bye